Hey, it's Friday, Memorial Day weekend. Busy weekend ahead, Sunday Carney. Um, Monday, what's the street fair again? Uh, Woodland Park. Woodland Park. Didn't that used to be something else? Uh, West Patterson. Oh, uh, yeah, but they didn't want the name Patterson associated yeah, with it. So, oh, so I remember that street fair. That's, but it's not in the parking lot. It's on the no, street. No, it's on the street. We used That's to the do subway that, is. that one shop there. I forget the name. It was it. weird. That one wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good. But it wasn't horrible. But like it, it was. I like remember that. one time we we set up there and uh, they put a rug guy right in front of us. <sighs> And he set up his rugs on these huge I, frames, I complained about and that guy. nobody could see us. I complained about that guy. So I said, like, there's there's no big deal whether you're at one end or the other of a flea market, unless they put somebody that blocks you and nobody can see that you're there. I said, like, the one time we did the flea the street fair, and they put this rug guy, and he went like 20 feet out, and he put the rugs. It's basically walls, and everybody go, oh, there's just a rug guy there. Yeah, because they come to a street fair. How are they going to carry a rug home? Yeah. So they see like a guy stupid. displaying rugs, and they're like, well, I don't want rugs, and then yeah. they don't go any further. Yeah, that's all they see is rugs. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, there's four sales, but Marie already said, what did you say? Uh, it doesn't look good. You it, were does, like, it doesn't look good because... No, but you're like, this, these look like... There's a lot of clutter. It's like, it's annoying to me because Craigslist has become an advertisement for stores and stuff. Like, yeah. they're added, yeah. there's this one guy that, that lists six times. And yeah. he's a store. Yeah. And then there's another guy that 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 you know, he he throws one thing up for sale and you have to contact him. But he does it like six times. Yeah, I know. And it's like, wait a minute, this is the garage sale section. If you want to sell furniture or there there's a section for that. Yeah, I mean it's a holiday, so, so they're it's probably like already. Half the ads are by Here's three the houses guys. in my neighborhood. Half the ads are three guys. Yeah. There's 50, 50 ads, say, and half of them are these three guys. And yeah. then the, in the other half, there might only be a few around us, because yeah. for some reason, people aren't doing garage sales. Right it's, oh, the kids are playing ball down there. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Um, yeah, they're playing catch, it looks I like. I probably know them. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, go ahead. Um, Turn right on so, Anderson Avenue. Then turn left on I guess road. garage selling was an old school thing. You know, it was, uh... You know, nobody you know, gets it. That's the best way to get rid of your stuff. The older generation is... Well, no, the new, the new thing is to put it on your phone. But that's so much work. How does that work? You it's pull all out your work. Phone, you take a picture of You got to meet people you, somewhere. You got to take pictures. Yeah. You got to list it. Uh, people are calling you, making shitty off. It's like, just have a yard sale. And boom, get rid of it. Done. The only young we did really good at the garage I've sale that we ran. Yard sales are people getting rid of their babies. Yeah. And then I'm like, uh. yeah. We we had a garage sale and uh, for those people, and we did really well. Everybody came. So it's so. I mean, even the town, like uh, the town wise we went to. Some people said they did really. Like we went to uh, one sale. We, we were the ones. We got there early. We spent like three hundred to something dollars with them and they were and then after that they said well you know it, after you guys spent what you spent it was slow but it's like no but we you made what we made you made like 500 bucks or whatever so it, it's like you it, didn't do bad just that I don't think, and you got rid of shit the younger generation thinks about having yards i don't think they have yards i don't think they have houses no there are people that have houses but they're, they're more of a disposable generation i think if they no, don't no. want it anymore they just no everybody's living out. with their parents and shit they don't have yards no i'm talking about oh my gosh okay yeah. i know i'm at the i'm at the post office i gotta deliver a package so um hopefully we'll find some stuff we'll see first one i bought a hoodie <laughs> for a dollar but there's nothing wrong with it and after i spent 30 dollars for a hoodie at target i'm like uh, I, I guess i like hoodies they protect me from the sun uh aj was telling me that he was listening to a podcast where they say white people wear hoodies <laughs> and they can't jump or something like that yeah um but i said like hey this way i won't be like you know going to the skin doctor and have them cut off little bits of my ears all the time you know and, it, and I made a joke where he was like, what? I was like, I'll go to the skin doctor and I cut off my ear. But they say, hey, we could we could surgically replace it and make it look like an ear with your butthole. <laughs> you know? She's like, what? What's wrong with you? So whatever. That was, uh, I did it with Marie. Um, so here I got this. And then the other thing we bought, Marie was must have been looking really hard to find this. It's uh, an old auto wrench. It's 
very rusty, but um, this works actually, sort of. It's a little tight. Probably could be oil. Wait, does it not work? Is it is it like wedged? It's just rusty. Okay, because I thought it moved a second, but now it's not moving. Well, because so. I moved it a little bit, I forced it. So it's an auto eight inch. Do you know what auto? Oh, there it is. A Westcott. What's a? Is that the maker? I don't know. Yeah, you have any luck finding? We spent three bucks. Somebody has it on for thirty bucks with ten dollars shipping. Mm, okay, so maybe forty bucks. Not bad. You're saying it's a hundred year old. No, it's possible. It's weird looking. You know. So, um, as long as you don't mind listing it. Yeah. Okay, well that's it so far. It's this isn't really a good finding day, but it is the holiday, so yeah. I try to what, do this. It's just that it's an auto. It's a car one. Yeah, it definitely is. Cause um, see, it's an auto. Yes. It's for inside of a car. Okay. And it says Buffalo, New York. It's the Keystone, Buffalo, New York. Hmm. So it's American made. Okay. All right. I'm very excited. <laughs> Uh, we're going to two more. We'll probably get a better trading in the store. Someone's bringing in. Uh, they want to trade us for a high value Funko Pop for a lower, lower value, whatever. So it's going to be like they walk away with one thing and we walk away with a bunch of stuff. But um, if they trade up in value and it's stuff that we believe we could sell easily, like if they said, "Okay, here's a hundred dollar Funko Pop. I'll give you three Pokemon games. You know, like Pokemon Red or Yellow or Blue." Well, that would be a good trade for us because we could we could easily sell that and and like uh, we'd make more money on the deal. Um, but okay, so that's it so far. All right. We went to a state sale, a lot of leftovers. I passed up on a perfume. Um, they said I saw it for a hundred. I don't trust anybody when they tell me that stuff because I couldn't find it myself. So I was like, Ugh, I don't want. I don't care to sell it three years from now for a hundred. Uh, so they said, well, you'd go 35. I said, you go 20. Again, last day. She's like, no, nah, so let them list it. They can make the 100 on their own. I don't care. What I did buy was this for Formia. It's like Murano. Uh, it's like, what is Submerso, right? That's kind of nice. Green, pink, whatever. I think it's worth at least 100 plus. 30 bucks. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to put it no matter what between 100 and 150 because that's it. You know, because this is, I paid 30 if I sell it for 120, I'm gonna. It's gonna cost me 20 or so to ship for sure, unless it goes like real close and local. Because it's like eight Somebody to ten pounds. Somebody has a pair of earrings. Oh. That similar. We spent 50 35 here, Sean. bucks. No, oh, that's cute. They're baskets of strawberries. They're older. Uh, it looks like we. Oh, they're actual baskets. Like they weave them. Yeah, that's how I got them. Oh, that's cool. It's the work that's done in it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put that in my hat for now. So going back to this. You know, I tell people all the time, you got to figure out how much you're going to pay for this to sell. So if I sell it for 120, that's $18 in fees, which is almost 20. So I'm just going to round it up to 20 because you got to buy a box anyway, right? 20 in fees. So I'm now I'm down to 100, right? Um, it cost me 30. Now I'm down to 70. It's going to cost me like no less than 20 to ship, right? So well, 70. Now I'm down to 50. If it costs more to ship, you know, but like, so I paid 30. And if I get 120 for it, I can probably make 50. But just think about it. It's like how much fees and whatever's gone or something like this. They're lucky I even bought it or whatever. I passed and on the perfume. somebody though. has this set for 24 with $4 shipping. Well, that's pretty good. You paid, I paid 30, you paid 20. Yeah. So you obviously did better than me. This is, uh, is it Mark Silver or is it just, uh, you know, it's silver? Are those four, faux pearls? I didn't put my glasses on. I'm half blind. These it, are silver earrings. Is this Mark Silver? No, it's not silver. You should have looked in her silver. I'm sure she would have, like... No, no, because she charged me eight bucks for the costume jewelry necklaces. These are sterling. No, that's, They've got they're uh, purple and pink. Maybe I'm in focus. Yeah, they're pretty. I can't read that. Uh... I see you got some costume. I'm hoping they're signed. This one's actually really cool. Oh, that's Bob Mackie. Is it? There it is. But it's a clown angel? Yeah, Bob Mackie. It fits a picture in it. But is it a clown angel? Hmm. Your picture is his pants. So it will look like a person is in his pants, which is rather creepy. But there it is. 
Bob Mackie. I can't Mackie. read this one. And... Looks like a clown angel. It's weird. He's got little crystal eyes. He must have been high when he was, you know. What if I had a clown angel that you put a picture in his pants and I give him little crystal eyes? It looks like, yeah. This one's Bob fine, but I high. can't read it. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, I see it. Uh, Jesus Christ. Is it DKNY or something? Probably not. I could put on more glasses. I have some really powerful glasses. But it's kind of cool. Uh, you know what? Maybe it, is it signed here? Yeah, there's something right here, Marie. It says China. God damn it. You're right. But a lot of these dino designers do that. Yeah, um, because they were doing a home shopping network. I mean, I'll look with really powerful. And what about that one? Oh, it's Diane von Furstenberg. Oh, okay. That's cool. A name I even I recognize. What is she famous for, though? Not jewelry, right? Clothes? There's uh, She's a designer. Label. Uh, there it says Formia. Betri Di Murano, made in Italy. There's a $60 original price tag. I paid... Uh, well, I don't know, uh, but her shit is gone for money here. Nice. Let me just... I you... can't find that. It's kind of like a weird kind of... It looks like it was a heart, but then somebody put a belt on it. And... Yeah. Yeah, because there is a heart here. Yeah, somebody has uh, clip-on earrings for $78. Okay, so probably it's it's decent stuff. Um, that's... Uh, are we going to one more sale? Yeah. 115 We got some time. All right. Bye. Yeah, it's worth the 20 bucks. For sure. You did good. Okay, this is added on to my... Uh, driving around and finding not a lot of stuff video. Marie mostly found jewelry today, which uh, I'm actually, I'm kind of telling AJ. I bought a nice Murano vase. Then we bought some other stupid crap, which you would have already seen if you're this far or deep into the video. So anyway, uh, this came in. Um, paid. Uh, actually, the funny thing is, is the guy didn't sell it to him, us the first time, right? And then, and this happens to us too, the prices of some of the key pops that he had went down. So our first offer was actually more than, than uh, what he got from us today, which means if we give you a good offer, just take it. Don't screw around because this stuff is like the stock market. Yeah, this stuff is like the stock market. It goes up and down in value. They want it this week. It's like especially when they have like um, chases, right? Or, or, or there's like one person gets it and they get it right away. So now they bought 200 for it. But then 10 people find it and now it's 100 or 150. But anyway, so this is what we got. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, these are some of the other pops that came in. AJ just said these are terrible because they are from the show La Casa de Papel. I have no clue. Um, Berlin. Oh, wait a minute. So these are places, Tokyo? Tokyo? Is this like, they're named after places in the world? Helsinki? I don't know where Jean-Michael Basquad is. Oh, this uh, he's a very famous artist. This uh, How much is this worth? I don't know. You want to just put it out? You want to put it on the shelf? He's a famous artist. Hello. That's kind of cool. Hey, we're out, of, out of the jugs. Oh, you'll be kidding me. El, profe oh. El Professor. And that is all. How did that work? Right.